Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these a paracord bracelet, a 550 paracord bracelet now I know there's a lot of videos, there's hundreds of videos on YouTube on how to make these um, but when I started looking into making them myself uh, there was a couple of things that I picked up on that people weren't mentioning so I wanted to include that in my video and the first the first thing was the amount of paracord that you actually need to make a bracelet with the limited amount of uh, waste at the end um, people were saying oh yeah you need this much but that was for, for them in particular I mean I've not I've only got slim wrists um, other people have thicker wrists and if you're doing them for children they're even they're even smaller so I, I wanted a way of working out how how much paracord you actually need to make a bracelet to fit uh, the person in question and the the second thing was I've seen a lot of videos making these and they use two pieces of paracord they use one piece attached to one of the buckles which then runs all the way down and then you start doing your cobra stitch with a separate piece of paracord but I wanted to use one piece of paracord because the idea of one of these is to carry um, a piece of paracord that you may need uh, in sort of an emergency situation or just if your bootlace snaps or something like that it's a way of carrying extra paracord and I think you need to have as long a piece as you possibly can have so to have two separate pieces just limits the amount that you can carry so that was the other thing I wanted to include on my video using one piece of paracord okay so what you're going to need to make one of these well um, it's pretty obvious you need a snap buckle like this these are specific ones which you can see there the contoured so they fit your uh, wrist better you can get those straight ones but these ones just fit to your you know the contour of your wrist better and they're only cheap to buy um, you need a lighter to singe the ends you need some scissors or a knife and of course you need paracord I'm using the uh, the woodland camo paracord um, you can do one colour like this or you can do the two colours um, if you're doing the two colours you do have to do it slightly different but I'll, I can do another video on that another day but today we're just doing the one colour paracord bracelet okay so those are your bits go and get those and then we'll take it to the next stage right so now all we need to do is find out how much paracord we're going to need to produce the right size of uh, bracelet now what I did is I took my piece of paracord and I just put it around my wrist and I just did it roughly to the size that I wanted which was about that and then what you need to do is you need to add on the distance from one end to the other of the buckle when it's connected together so you've got that and then you need to add that bit on as well so that is my standard length that I'm going to use for my bracelet now you need to multiply that now by 10 now when you're out in the field and you want to make one of these um, you might not have a ruler with you so all I did was I just folded it over well, that's two lengths there three four five that's five lengths I'm going to let go of that and then I just ran it down the paracord until it was like doubled so that's my ten lengths so I've, now I've got ten times the length of what I had uh, at the beginning and that generally it generally works out like this one for instance I just happen to have a ruler here with me that one there is about 25 centimeters long and so I know that that bracelet gives me um, 
2.5 meters of paracord. Uh, so that's how, that's basically how it works. So that's nice and easy to remember. So I've already cut my paracord to length, and what I generally do is just double it in half. Take one of the buckles, and now you want to go in over the top of the buckle like that and just thread it through so that you've then got you can see it sits like that so your cord is sitting over the top of the buckle rather than underneath like that okay so that is how we're going to start the paracord bracelet okay the next part is you would then just snap the other half of your buckle on like that and you basically just put it around your wrist and you just need to feed these two ends back through this end of the buckle so we're just going to get the other two ends making sure we keep the two ends parallel all the way along okay so we get those and again we're feeding in through the top of the buckle like that just feed that through like so and we just put it on our wrist until it's about how we want it which for me is bearing in mind that once you've done the stitch it's going to be a bit thicker um, so just it's all just general personal preferences how you how you want it so that's that's about right for me I might make this one slightly bigger um, I'm gonna make this one slightly bigger I think okay so that's that's where we're at that's how we're gonna that's the size we're gonna use so we can just unsnap that and just straighten straighten things out a bit so it's nice and straight just keeping the length okay so we've got it there just keep it pinched together like that okay so that's going to be the length of our bracelet and now we can start to do the cobra stitch okay so we can start the cobra stitch now if you've not seen how to do this there's plenty of videos out there but uh, basically you've got your two bits of paracord coming down this way and you bring start from this side and you create yourself a little loop like that which goes over the top of the two bits of paracord ring down hold it with your thumb and then you take this side and you come over the top of this one and back under round the back and through your loop on this side like that and then you just pulling them up like that to secure keeping it nice and straight just push that up you just tighten it up basically and then you just go to the other side create the loop go around the back and back through and pull it through and pull just tightening as you go pushing it up making it nice and tight now you can see there now that I've got you can see the difference that bit goes over there that side hasn't so if you ever lose track of where you're up to just you're always working on that side so we're on this side now you can see so we make the loop go over 
round the back, pull it through, just tighten everything up, push it, tighten, and you can see now that the crossover loop is on that side. So now we're back on that side. Over the top, create a loop, round the back, through, and pull. Pull. Just pull all the bits, push it up, just get it all nice and tight, looking neat. So again, we're on this side, create the loop over the top, round the back, and pull. Pull. Push it up, pull the bits together, and you can see now the stitch starting to come together. Okay, I'm going to carry on with that and then we'll come back. Right, we're just coming to the end now. I've worked all the way down doing the stitch. Pulling as we go. Tightening. Now you can actually see I've got quite a bit of surplus on the end of here. Um, it's always better to have a little bit more at the end. Um, you'll get used to you know your tolerances and I have actually made it is actually a bit shorter than I originally uh, opted for but uh, you know it's always better to have a bit extra at the end rather than not enough so just keep going tightening remember there there's the side that we want over Got a couple more in there. Pull, push it up. Room for one more. Around the back and pull. So there you can see. Nice little finish on there. So we've just got these two ends now, which we can just snip off and then uh, just singe the ends ends with the lighter right you want to you want to cut these ends fairly close like that same on the other side and then just taking your lighter Into the ends. All right, let's press it down. Stop it from fraying. So there you go, there's your finished bracelet. A little bit fiddly to fit on. And there you go. That one actually fits me better than the other one. And that gives me about two and a half meters of paracord, like, like I say. So I can use for a guy line or a shoelace, boot lace, or anything you want really. And of course you've got the two buckles as well, if ever you need them. So there you go. That's my take on the uh, 550 paracord bracelet. Uh, it uses one piece of paracord. And uh, you know more or less how much paracord you're going to need with uh, minimal wastage okay on this one I had, did have a little bit of wastage but I just wanted to make sure I was uh, I had the right amount for the video so there you go hope you enjoyed that hope that's been of use 
Um, subscribe, comment, click the like button. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the next video.